What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Love During Lockup. This is season four, episode 47, Got a User. So we start off with Savannah. She's in the car and she's talking about, you know, Tim, how he she went down to meet him. She, and he just left. You know, he ran out on her last week. He didn't come back and talk and give her any information. And uh, so Jake happens to call and she's in the car and he she 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 asks her what's up and she lets him know that you know she does her crying thing like she always does and she lets him know that she just feels like she's on this wild goose hunt and you know she's not gaining any traction from anybody nobody's telling her anything and you know he she said Tim ran out on me and he's like, he laughed and said, he don't know why he would do that. I don't know. You know, I, I just thought he would be willing to talk to you. And, um, and she's like, well, you know, can you get anybody else to help me? Would you call your folks again or something and try to get it worked out? And so she proceeds to tell him that she did a dumb thing. She decided to call his mom and to do a drive-by we actually got to see this part she called the mom once she didn't answer so she drove her butt down her anyway and sat in front of the house and called again you know hey this savannah i'm just trying to see if you'll talk to me i'm out here this and that jake's mom needs to call the police on her because this that is uh stalking uh harassment and you know and she does this um uh, crying thing again and it's weird because i don't know why she's why is she crying so much about people she don't need she don't even know these people but she wants the attention so much and she wants them to like her so much but i mean they don't even know her i don't know it's, it's just weird so anyway jake jake even told her he said this is weird he said why would you do that i told you not to go over there and he she said well i'm just you know i, I was hoping it was gonna help you know do some help and he's like don't don't i don't even want you to help me anymore He's, he really said, just leave him alone. Don't do not do that anymore because that's weird. I didn't want you to do that. And you did it anyway. You're taking this stuff too far. So that's how that went. So next we see Jade in the car. She's in the car with her sister, Just, and they're on the way to the prison powwow. Really, they're just pretty much talking about last week, the prenup, uh, how she feels about it. Uh, she's feeling kind of salty about the way he mentioned it. She's always been aware of it, but she didn't know he felt a certain kind of way about it. Like I guess like he was actually thinking you know, if anything happens, everything is in my name. But she says she's never had a reason to worry because he's always made her feel like and told her as well that if anything ever happens, you know, it's I'll split stuff with you 50-50. You don't have to worry about this being all in my name. Uh, to me, either way, Jade is on the winning end of the stick. She's out like she got to share a bank account with the guy. She's spending all his money, having a good time now. Uh, it's not like she's spending any money. If they don't work out when he gets out, she's what is she losing? I mean, of course, she invested her time, but she chose to do that. And she could have easily spent her time in any way that she wanted. He's locked up. He doesn't have to know. What is what what is he stopping? So, you know, with that, it's, it's no big deal. Oh, we see Letitia getting back from seeing Keith. She comes in. Her daughters are there to greet her, you know, and she's glad to see him. They're glad to see her because I never see her interacting with her kids, guys. It's always about Keith. When she's with them, it's about Keith. She's in another room on the phone talking about Keith. In previous, you know, stories of people they need prayers and guys, you will see people, the women spending time with their kids or actually talking to them or whatever. But anything Letitia has got going on, it's about Keith. But back to the story, Keith, I'm not Keith. Yeah, it is. It's Keith's aunt. She kept the kids. So she's over there sitting. And just with her getting in the door, Keith calls. So she goes into the kitchen to take the call. She, The kids are within earshot of her, so they can hear everything going on. So she's actually on the phone saying, telling him about how she got the call from her friend. And and the friend was saying how the baby mamas was plotting uh, against her. And she's like, I'm not going to be dealing with any other bitches, Keith. Like, I don't, you need to get this straight. He's like, what you want me to do about it? I mean, you're going to deal with this stuff anyway. It's, it's just, you know, I can't do nothing about it. And so she lets us know, talking about she hates he's locked, she's locked up. Because if he was on the street just from the respect he has, you know, he would be able to do something about it. Which I don't know what he would be able to do about some women plotting against her. That's, that's weird. <laughs> Excuse me. And I don't know what she wants him to do. It's, Keith asked to speak. Well, no, actually, Letitia told 
her one the baby girl you know this is keith and she's like she's been waiting all day to talk to you so she gets on the phone she's a little kid she doesn't know so you can play the role so he speaks to her and then you know she tries to get her oldest daughter um i forget what her name is she's like you want to talk to keith and she's like no i don't I don't, so she calls him over there. It's like really she's trying to entice her to talk to him or speak to him or something, trying to force this relationship. The oldest girl is not really going for it. She's seen this too many times before. And she's just, I, I, I can imagine how she feels hurt, uh, disappointed, uh, just just all these emotions. Cause she says she's, you know, in the past, she's seen her be hurt so many times. Her past relationships have not been good and they she's witnessed all of this stuff and it's like to her i guess she's seeing her make the same mistake again but we see Letitia asking her you know after they got off the phone after she got off the phone with keith she asked her has she warmed up to keith yet and she told her no i haven't warmed up with it to him yet i don't know what this thing is with these women asking these girls teenage girls have you warmed up to this man what, what do you mean warmed up how do i warm up to a, a grown-ass man how but anyway it's like have you warmed up to him no she hasn't and she's like well he's gonna be getting out soon and you're gonna have to you know do something i mean you know i've been you've been knowing about keith i think have they been married or dating for three years i'm not sure but they never met him in person he's been locked up the whole time so it's not like a relationship has been developing or formed with him especially with her being older like that and so she's just not feeling it and i just I hate that for her. I, I, my heart hate, aches for her. When you have a mom, you have kids that have more sense than their moms with things. They, they can see. She's already seeing where this is going. But Letitia's not. It, it's all good to her. So we have Renika. Miss Renika with the green and gold hair. <laughs> She's on the way to go to a closer spot to the prison because of Asante will be getting out soon. So she's in the car all excited. She's telling us she haven't heard from Asante since uh, in a couple of days. And, but he gave her the number, a number to a relative for her to call because they're gonna be putting the, I guess supposed to be working out the bond and all this stuff. So, she, you know, she's supposed to get him a call. And she's about to go down there and get her man. And so she happens, she calls, she tries to call Asante. And the phone is disconnected. She calls again and she gets the same little doo -doo -doo, phones disconnected. So she calls the prison to see, you know, what's going on. Uh, she's, she's using the white girl voice again, uh, trying to get information. Uh, yes, I'm trying to call, I'm calling about Citrus uh, to see, you know, is he still supposed to be getting out in two days or whatever? So whomever answers the phone at the prison says he's not there. He, he, he was released yesterday. And so, Hold on, stay on that. Hold just a minute. We're going to get back to that story. So we get Brittany. Brittany is waiting on a call from K-Rock. She hasn't heard from K-Rock since that incident with her missing the call. So, you know, she's just kind of all down and out about it. She happens to get a call from somebody named Carla, who is also locked up with K-Rock. She's a mutual friend between the two of them. And she proceeds to tell her about uh, first of all, no. She tells her, she said, well, how was it last night? Did y'all have fun at the party? She said, yeah, we had a lot of fun. Okay, whole 10. I mean, they have parties in the prison. I didn't know. No wonder, guys, nobody minds going to prison. They they, they having parties. They got phones. They got Facebook's account, Facebook accounts. They doing TikToks. They can cook what they want. You got somewhere to stay free. You got food free. If you got somebody to put money on your books, you can eat what you want. It, hey, prison is the place to be. They, I didn't know you had parties in prison, especially at night. Because she even said, she said, yeah, we had a good time. You know, they had to break it up because a fight broke out. And so, uh, what's her name? Uh, Brittany is like, what? Well, ho, 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 a fight broke out. She said, who, what, who was in the fight? Was K-Rock in it? And she's like, yeah, K-Rock was in it. And K-Rock, because you know this girl, her boyfriend, uh, jumped, tried to jump on me. And then K-Rock found out and K-Rock got, uh, got in it and he jumped on him and, and he bust his eardrum and bust his ass socket out and everything. And so I'm like, dog, all that happened in the, in the prison? Like, I mean, the party, the fight broke out. 
he busting out people at your arms and ear drums and ass sockets. Like, is, is he in the hole now? Because that, that was a lot. And so we see, uh, you know, Brittany proceeds to tell us, you know, with stuff like that she's worried about is how it's going to be when K-Rock gets out because she knows he has a temper. And she just wants him to, you know, be on the right path when he gets out. So we go back to Savannah. She's visiting her friend, her and a big head of Jake with her crazy self. She's got one of those fat heads made of Jake and she takes it over to the yard. And so she proceeds, proceeds to tell her friend that I did something, I know I did something stupid. I went by Jake's mom house, the friend looking like, I'm just over it. Like you, 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 you did that, you, like really. And she knew she was stupid for doing it, but she couldn't help herself. And so while they're sitting there talking, Jake calls. And she lets Jake know I'm over to my friend's house. And uh, so the friend says, hi, Jake, or whatever. And she says, let me talk to him. So she gets on the phone and, you know, she's just asking Jake, you know, she's like, I'm worried about my friend, you know, do you really care about Savannah and all this and that? And she, he's like, yeah, I mean, I care about her. And he asks, you know, well, what's your plan when you get out? Do you, are you gonna, do you, why don't you gonna get married? And he said, he doesn't wanna be tied to anybody like that. He said, I've answered these questions so many times. Hey, just, just shoot them at me, whatever you wanna say. I don't have anything to hide. I've been as honest as I could with her and i'm gonna tell you the same thing i tell her which he did it's like he don't want to be committed to no one certain person he's just getting out he's been locked up all this time and she was like are you gonna sleep with other women he's potentially yeah i probably will uh you know but they won't mean anything and so the friend like she's disappointed in him and like well you know i just hate that because she loves you so much and this you getting on the wrong person friend if you're a real friend you will be honest with your friend and tell her that's who you need to be giving advice to. Not Jake. He's being honest. It's your friend who's setting herself up for heartache. I can't even say if you tell her anyway, she's going to listen. It's because she's one of those type people. She's going to do what she wants to do. But don't put pressure on him. What, you want him to lie? She's like, when he got off the phone, she's like, I just hate he's, you know, he's so upfront with what he's saying. Who doesn't, why wouldn't you want him to be? You she she played it down she was really trying to play down what jay said when they got off the phone she was like yeah he did say you know he he said he may date other women or he may he didn't just say he was gonna sleep with somebody and so that just helped savannah out some more like yeah he did it you know so it's a possibility he won't okay to get back to k-rock and Brittany. k-rock brother shows up brothers show up and they have a surprise for Brittany. They go to the patio, take her to the patio. It's a grill that they got. They're like, yeah, yeah, K-Rock sent this. He bought this and we got some steak and we finna cook. And she's like, oh my gosh, it's just so great. He calls right at the right time. Again, one of the pleasures of being locked up. Hey, you can just use the phone when you want to and call folks. And they call you too. Anyway, so he calls and she's like, oh babe, I'm so, you never cease to amaze me. You just, you, you always do something good like this. And so not only did he buy her grill, he sent $300 in cash. Where it came from, I don't know. So Brittany says he invested in some a small laundromat before he got locked up. And that's where the residuals of the money is coming from. Okay, Brittany. Anyway, so, you know, it's like to me with K-Rock and Brittany, he's this type to where he, can, he talks to her in any kind of way. Uh just training her to me training her like a pimp would a prostitute i'm gonna talk bad to you but i'm gonna do something i'm gonna make you feel good but at the same time i'm gonna bring you back down just just trying to get in her trying to get in her head in her mind and he's doing it um because not only okay after she got the money in the grill she you know and they were talking and she asked him about she said yeah carla called me and she told me about a fight that happened there and she said was you involved in a fight and he's like what what who, where you get that from? And she said, well, Carla told me that. He said, did I tell you that? She said, no, but Carla, look, you don't, you don't listen to what nobody else tell you. If you didn't hear it from me, don't you believe it? And don't question me about nothing like that. It's like a pimp. And she was like, I mean, I'm just trying to see because I don't want you to be getting in any trouble. And he's like, look, don't bring nothing to me about what somebody else told you. I don't know nothing about that. Uh, it's, he, she said, so, is it a lie? 
you know, and, and that was like a big insult too. Don't don't question me what I tell you. What I said was I said I didn't know, and that's all you need to know. So by the time this conversation is over, she's telling us, I don't know why Carla will lie to me like that. That's you know, and I'ma just have to I just wouldn't expect that from her. But um for her to just come and make up something like that on K-Rock, that's not cool. Back to Letitia. Letitia and Shalonda are on their way to pick out a wedding ring. She lets us know that, well, first of all, she, she, you know, she was talking to Keith and she asked, could she get a $30,000 ring? And he says, no. She asked about a $15,000 ring. And he also says, no, absolutely not. They agree upon a $10,000 ring, but the, the, the getcha is she's getting the ring out of their shared bank account, which probably means she's paying for the majority of it anyway, if anything he's put in there. I think she's adding his name to a lot of her accounts. She says except for one because everybody needs a, uh, a account in case you just got the run. But she said, you know, that she's getting it out of her, their shared account, the ring. And, oh, I'm shining. Oh, I'm so shiny. Anyway, so her and her cousin Shalanda, hold up, y'all. And I just got to say this. Shalanda, what what color are you? What's your race? I, I'm just, it's no big deal. I just want to know. Um, I thought Shalanda was a white woman, white girl with a wig on, until they said her name was Shalanda. So I'm like, Shalanda? What, what is this? Go back. First of all, they get to the jewelry store. They're telling their names. You know, she says, hi, I'm Brittany. The lady says, I'm Pam. So in a way, Shalonda says, hi, I'm Shalonda. And to me, the jury lady, the white lady was looking like, too, she was astonished. Shalonda. The only thing she knew to say was, okay, uh, oh, that's Shalonda? Okay, that's nice. She got me too, lady. I don't, I don't know. I can't figure it out. But anyway, so they just go in there. She's trying to pick out a ring. Uh, she, she, like, she really likes this one ring she put on the first one that has the halo on it. Until she found out the cost, the lady said it was like $1,500. Oh, no, I can't have that. I want something big. I want something that everybody is going to like say, oh, wow, let me see your ring. So I'm guessing this ring is supposed to go to keep all the women at her man. I mean, she she's the one with the ring. So she won. I guess that's her way of thinking. Anyway, we get back to Ra Ranisha. She's still trying to find Citrus, a.k.a. Ashante. Ashante. Anyway, so she's... She's pulled over to this truck stop and she's telling us, I'm moving this truck stop. You know, I don't know where the hell he is. I'm about to get raped, get kidnapped. Okay, we know I'll let you still here. You still park right here. What you gonna do, girl? So anyway, she calls, she calls her sister. And so she lets her sister know, you know, I'm out here. I'm at this truck stop. I don't know where Sante is. I called. They told me he got released yesterday. I don't know what to do. And her sister telling her, look, it sounds like you got played. Thus goes back to the title. You got a user. Uh, what, you know, sounds like you need to come home. Yeah, I know, I, I, you know, but I'm just saying, I don't know what to do. Cause I'm out here, I'm, you know, I'm almost there. And I'm to the point where I kind of just feel like I'm just going all the way. Just going to go anyway, just see what's going on. So she's telling her all the time, nah, girl, I think you need to come back and go home. Don't go. She, yeah, nah, but I'm going to go. Cause you know, I'm, I'm too far here now. Why you call your sister then? It's like, I don't know why. I guess she needed somebody to vent to but she wasn't listening to nothing nobody was saying and she was like girl okay she said but whatever i'm just telling you and she kind of hung up the phone do she said you do you pretty much and hung it up guys that was the end of the episode and i guess we gotta wait till next week to see what's going on with asante I'm, I'm 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 just curious to know i know i saw her in an episode of love after lockup but that doesn't mean she's gonna be in the whole the whole season so I, i'm curious to find out what the story is is she gonna is he is he it's kind of misunderstanding he's actually there and they just overlook something i don't know but anyway thank you for tuning in uh there wasn't an episode of bell collective this week because i do review that too but i will be doing a review of the shy so come back and watch that guys don't forget to subscribe please subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell so that you can be notified when i post new content and also give me some comments guys so we can talk about the show and just to have a discussion or something and thank you guys see you later bye